Hello everyone, my name is James Morrison and for today I'm going to be presenting to you a persuasive speech. The topic that I chose is one that I feel very strongly about because I'm an active member of the LGBT community and I feel like, um, yeah, it's something that's very important and something that we do need to talk about. Um, the topic that I chose is same-sex marriage. The reason why I chose this topic is because right now in this day and age, um, well, really, it was before the new president elect and everything, but it was um, Congress was going through some stuff where they were thinking about or they were electing people who were actively opposed and like prevalently opposed to same sex marriage and to LGBT advocation. So because of that, it's very important for me to speak out and speak on this subject, because not that the laws could be taken, but we just need to do a better job of putting people into office that care about the well-being of everybody and not just a particular group, you know? And so, yeah, that's why I chose um, to advocate for same-sex marriage and to persuade you guys to advocate for it as well. Um, marriage in itself has a lot of benefits legally and mentally. Mentally, it is shown that... Um, mentally, it's shown that um, it helps to manage stress and mental health. So because it helps to manage strength and mental, uh, manage stress and mental health, it's basically saying that when you are tied to someone and you love someone, that like barrier is no longer, or that weight is no longer just on your shoulders, but it's on the shoulders of everyone. So because that's the case, um, it shouldn't just be awarded to heterosexual relationships or people who fit the normal. It should be awarded to everyone. You should be allowed to love who you want to love. It shouldn't just be a select group of people. So yes, it helps with um, your mental health and your mental well-being, which people do not know or people do not realize. But LGBT people, especially LGBT youth, especially Black LGBT youth, they have it the worst. They're like with the mental health, theirs is the worst because in the Black community, you're taught that or a lot of people are taught in the black community that um, when you're going through something, you keep it to yourself, you bottle it in, you don't advocate or you don't reach out to anyone or ask for help or need support or anything like that. So they tell you that like your mental struggles, your your health, your mental health is not important. It's not valued. It's not real. It's something that you can get over. So because that's the case, we don't really learn how to cope with these things and how to manage these things and you know better handle them so and within the lgbt community it's double that it's especially when you're black and a part of the lgbt community it's a double-ended sword because within the black community you may not be respected or honored the way that you should be and then in the lgbt community the rest of the society doesn't or in the black community the rest of the society doesn't respect you or honor you the way that you should be. So it's a double-ended sword. And that's why mental health is such a problem within this community. So if you know that marriage, if we know and it's scientifically proven that marriage helps with managing mental health and stress, then why shouldn't we be awarded those same opportunities? Um, and that by itself, that was given to, that information was given to me by, um, by a website. And the title of the website was Effects of Marriage on Mental Health. Um, another main, like, Another main benefit of um, marriage in itself is legally. So there's this thing called the marital tax deduction, which is basically saying that if you are married to someone, um, you can like release your assets, like everything that you own, your estate, everything, your assets to them without having to pay taxes at all. So property tax, anything like that. So that is something that, um, that first of all, first and foremost, that information was given to me by um, Ivy Jacobson, who wrote 13 Legal Benefits of Marriage. So this is very important to me because it's saying that if we're legally married and God forbid something happens to you or something happens to me, I can make sure that my significant other is okay. I can make sure that my significant other doesn't have to worry about how a bill is going to be paid or where they're going to rest their head at night. They're going to be okay. And we should all be awarded that same, like that same assurance, you know? It shouldn't just be awarded to, like I said, the heterosexual normal couples. That's not right. That's not okay. Um, I'm sorry if I'm not looking in camera, but yeah, um, yeah, so also another, like, major benefit is, um, economic benefits, especially, like, in healthcare. Married couples tend to reap the benefits of discounts on healthcare with up to, like, a 40% discount. This information was given to me by, um, the website Why Marriage Makes Financial Sense. So this is very, like, important because everybody knows that healthcare is expensive. 
everyone knows that healthcare is expensive and in this day and age with the economy and everything that's going on right now it is very important that we have strong healthcare systems that we have all of these strong laws that are in place to help the like what am i trying to say so all of these laws that are in that are that were implemented to help healthcare and provide like make sure that medicine is more affordable to us that doctor visits are more affordable to us that we can make sure that we're healthy and that we're okay those things need to be viable for everyone it shouldn't just be for a select group of people everybody should go for that which i think that the black community and minority communities they are they have a very good understanding of why it's so important to have affordable health care because before a couple years ago we didn't have affordable health care so now that we do have this or not even a couple years ago but years ago we did not have affordable health care so because we didn't um, especially within the black community, a lot of people may not have known that struggle, but I know that my family was impacted by that struggle a lot. So because I resonated with, uh, resonate with it so much, it's very important for me to be able to make sure that my significant other and myself also reap those benefits and be able to afford healthcare and, you know, the same health benefits that everybody else should be awarded. Um, Yes, so in conclusion, I believe that same-sex marriage should be supported and advocated for just as much as heterosexual couples. As a, as a society, we're learning to be more inclusive and judgment-free, and I think that it's important for us to realize that if we want to progress as a society, we need to learn that we are all different and our differences need to be embraced instead of criticized. Um, so yes, my name is James Morrison, and I hope that this um, speech, like, I hope that it impacted you and it made you want to at least learn more about why it's so important for us to be supported. Thank you guys so much for watching.